Hey guys, Chief Williams Unfiltered. Today I want to talk about TSA and what you can and can't take through TSA. I travel a lot for a living. And in fact, I've traveled so much, I've had to have extra pages added to my passport because I had so many stamps um, traveling all around the world. Uh, but one of the things that's important is understanding that you can't take more than 3.4 ounces, which is equal to 100 milliliters. Uh, the craziest thing I ever saw somebody try to take through the airport was some ketchup, mayo, and mustard. I guess they were going to a barbecue and they had them in their uh, check bag and they got confiscated and then they got all upset about it and they got mad because they had to throw away the ketchup, mayo, and mustard. But that's the craziest thing I've ever, I've, I've ever seen personally. Um, one thing that a lot of people get caught up on are water bottles. So this is a 16 ounce, 16.9 ounce water bottle. Now, a lot of people think that if they only have four or 3.4 ounces of liquid left in the bottle. So let's say this was down to about here, um, and is less than 3.4 ounces, it would still get confiscated or thrown away because you can't have more than what's written on the bottle. Uh, so you can actually take an empty water bottle, so a metal water bottle that's empty. You can go through security, and then once you get inside the gates, uh, fill it up with, with tap water at the water fountain, or you can get a plastic water bottle and do the same thing. But if this had even a, a couple of drops of water in it, um, they could confiscate it or make you throw it away. So if you're going to travel with a water bottle, make sure it's empty. And even a water bottle like this, if it's completely empty, um, then they'll let you come through with it. But if it has uh, any significant amount of water in it or even a swallow of water in it, they'll make you throw it away. So I know it sounds crazy, but that's the rules. I don't make them up. Um, so I have some examples of what you can and can't take. So this right here is a travel size deodorant you can buy at Walmart. Uh, this is actually a one ounce size, so this is acceptable because it's less than 3.4 ounces. Uh, this is the same deodorant in full size. It's 3.8 ounces, uh, which would be too big. Uh, so you cannot take this one on the airplane. Uh, this is a solid deodorant. This is, let's see, 0.5 ounces. So this is you can take this in your carry-on. Now, please understand... All these other liquids, you can take them in your check bag. So if you check them and put them under the plane, then it's not a problem. It's the ones that you're trying to carry on. And uh, every airport and every airline, they charge ridiculous prices at $25, $35 for, for check bags. So a lot of people try to save money by just carrying on the bare minimum. Uh, I know a girl, she went to a wedding. Uh, she carried everything she needed in her big purse. Um, because she didn't want to pay for a, a check bag. So she had her, her lipstick and uh, travel size deodorant, travel size um, shampoo or whatever she needed uh, and made it through the airport with just one bag. And that's something, if you travel a lot, you know what to do and what not to do. So this is, let's see, this is a full size deodorant. It's a solid, uh, which would count as a paste as under the TSA um regulations. This is actually 2.7 ounces. So this actually could go through security um, because it's less than 3.4 ounces. Uh, next, I have some shave gel. Uh, you guys know I shave every day. Uh, shave my head and my face every day. So this is 2.5 ounces. So this is less than 3.4. So you're good to go with this one. Now here's the same type of shave gel, full size. This is uh, seven ounces, so this is too big, so you cannot take this on a carry-on in your in your um, bag. But you could check it and put it under the plane. So next I have is some lotion. So this is 2.5 ounces, uh, so that's good. Uh, that's less than 100 milliliters, so no issues there carrying that on your carry-on. Uh, same type of lotion, this is eight ounces. This is too big, so you can't take this on a plane. Uh, next I have is uh, some mouthwash. Uh, this is 1.2 ounces, so you're good to go. All right, check. Some 
other mouthwashes, full size, 16 fluid ounces. You can't take this on the plane. Next up, I got toothpaste. So we got to keep your teeth clean. Want to have fresh breath. You never know if you need to talk close to somebody. Uh, 1.9 ounces. Uh, so that falls under the, the guidelines. So you're good with this toothpaste. So same same thing. So this is a full size tube of toothpaste. So people think, oh, because there's only a little bit left, it's not, it's probably less than 3.4 ounces if there was just a little bit left in the tube. However, the label says 5.8 ounces. So 5.8 ounces TSA will confiscate this and throw it away. Uh, now, I have seen people have less than a tube, uh, less than three ounces of left of liquid in the, tube, in the tube and make it through TSA. You could possibly get through security um, without, without it being caught, but however, uh, you don't want to be the one guy that's holding up the line because you wanted to bring a big, big tube of toothpaste instead of buying a travel size. Uh, one thing that a lot of people take is medicine. They'll have like, this is a hydrocortisone uh, cream. This is two ounces. So this is actually good to go because it's less than 3.4 ounces. Uh, everybody wants to smell good. So you got your cologne. So this cologne is one ounce. Uh, so there's no issues taking this on the plane. So this one is actually close. So this is, uh, this is 3.4 ounces. So this is right at the limit. Uh, technically, they could let you on the plane with this uh, because it is 3.4 ounces, 100 milliliters. However, I would not recommend taking this because uh, every airport is different. Every TSA is different. Everybody interprets the regulations a little bit differently. So I personally would not carry this size, even though this is right at the limit. I don't want to make a scene arguing with a TSA guy when I'm just trying to get through the airport security and get to the plane. Now, a lot of stores, they sell do-it-yourself tubes. So this is baby oil. Um, however, it, it says three fluid ounces on the side. I don't know if you could make that out in the camera. So this is three ounces. Uh, however, you, you can fill these tubes up with whatever you want, uh, shampoo, lotion, or whatever. The only issue is the, the TSA agents could confiscate it because it doesn't have the original ingredients on it from the manufacturer. Uh, so this is, uh, do it, do this at your own risk. Uh, if you decide to take these do it yourself, um, tubes, um, through the airport, it could potentially get confiscated, but uh, that's the risk you take. You're trying to save some money getting through the airport. But I just want to give you guys a breakdown of what you could or couldn't take. But I thought that story about the, the people going to the barbecue was hilarious with the with the mayo, ketchup, and mustard. But uh, that's all I have, Chief Williams. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.